Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. How are we all doing? I have some exciting news uh, I want to share with y'all. The Ocean Beach Pier is getting rebuilt. Uh, there was three options that we had. It was either to fix it, refurbish it, make it better, or tear the whole thing down and build a new one. And a lot of us really wanted a new pier. It is going to take the longest and it's going to cost the most, but it's going to be the best for the community, for the fishermen, and for the public, tourists, businesses, everything. In my opinion, everyone alike is going to love a new pier. So this is the concept right here. And it, it looks beautiful. It has an upper area for like viewing. It looks like there's a spot down here where they're, they're going to have like a wind block uh, where you don't have to worry about getting, you know, freezing cold if you just want to go out there and check everything out. We got nice shades and sitting areas. I do think that they will not put the sitting areas or they'll make them so they are like deterrent for homeless to sleep on them. Uh, which isn't a bad thing in my opinion. You know, we don't want our pier getting trashed by people just, you know, moving in and stuff. It's a place where you go, enjoy, and you leave. Uh, nonetheless, this is really exciting. Uh, here's another view of it. So you got the upper area where you can kind of like view, have a higher view, see farther out in the ocean. I really love that. It's just a big open area for people to sit and enjoy and hang out. Uh, I, the original pictures that I was seeing, it looked like they were going to put shops here or something. And that kind of bummed me out because I wanted to stay a fishing pier you know that's what ocean beach pier has always been it's been a place where you go to fish uh it's heavily influenced by the locals and it's a huge fishing community here's a overhead view of the whole pier and if you see like you still have the north and south keys like the old pier and they're both set up for fishing it looks like so lowered fishing area ah i like it that's really cool so it comes the only problem is when we have high surf that's whenever that's going to get tore up uh but if they do fortify it enough it should be great so fishing terrace, fishing terrace, and then plaza on the ocean. So flexible plaza, custom furnishing, shaded area, ocean view. And it looks like there's like a little eye, like a little center area where it's cut out. Where you probably could even pull up some bait fish or something. And then here you have the surf rider theater. So it's terrace seating. So you can sit out there and watch the surfers. And they're probably going to have this higher up so that it's harder to fish off in this area, I would assume. And that way maybe it'll keep the surfers happy because a lot of the surfers clash heads with the with the uh fish fishermen on the pier even though they're on a fishing pier and we're totally allowed to be fishing there Uh, the surfers feel the need to kind of get upset. I'm a surfer myself, but I'm a bigger fisherman than a surfer. So definitely going to probably side with the fishermen on that one, especially because we're on our designated pier to fish. Nonetheless, though, here's another view. Oh, I already showed that view. Here's the main view I showed. Okay. And here is the existing um, pier right now. And this is actually a live feed of the pier, a little overcast going on. But as you can see, this pier is huge. It's outdated. Uh, it is a concrete pier. It is my favorite pier on the West Coast, and it is very close to my home. So all we have is the one little cafe right here, and then you have the, the North and South Keys. And uh, when we fish for shark, we're always on this South Key right here. Uh, we got one surfer out there, a few in the water. It's weird. Ocean Beach is like one of the most iconic surfing spots too, but it's either flat waves or monster waves and they'll have surfing competitions out here all the time and it's just like they're in like a little lake there's literally no waves uh, let's see what else do i got here i have another view of the pier i wanted to show you guys did i there it is so this is the uh south key right here where we where we actually shark fish from this is our little spot this whole last run this is where we like to congregate and fish and so one thing i do like about the new pier is they're going to keep the north and south keys and like the, like they're saying they're going to lower them down because when you were pulling a shark up or any big fish we have to drop down a, a huge gaff on a rope and it's really hard to land the fish that way so if it is lowered down that would be wonderful uh as you, right here this is a picture whenever the pier is closed because of some damage and if you see right here you got all the birds hanging out when we're not there they come here and take over and man do they poop all over it so the city actually has to send people out to pressure wash the whole pier before it gets reopened because it just turns into this gnarly, just 
bird poop paradise whenever uh whenever people aren't allowed on it but again it was hit heavily by some surf this year so Th this pier and right up the way there's another pier crystal pier and it's a wooden pier and it's also closed at the moment because uh it has also had a, one of its pylons break off and that's a wooden pier and there's actually little uh bungalows there's a dog out there barking there is uh bungalows on that pier too where people go and they actually rent them out for the night so kind of sketchy that <laughs> those are still open but the farther part where you fish at is closed so in closing, though, I, I'm definitely a fan. I'm really excited about the pier uh, being rebuilt. A few other things, too, though, that will be affected. The wildlife, the, the actual marine life in the ocean will get disrupted because they've got to tear out an old pier and then do construction and put in a new pier. So the existing uh, fish that are there are probably going to get displaced. They're going to have to find a new home. Um, displaced. They're going to get they're, they're losing their home for a while. So whenever they build the new pier, I, I am curious how long it's going to take them, like take the fish to come back, inhabit the area again. Are they going to put down some man-made structures to help, you know, um, encourage the fish to want to to live there and come back and, and make home? Because I, I don't know how much damage they actually do to the ocean floor when they're doing it, but I assume you got to get a lot of heavy equipment out there and just the amount of soot and, and sand and everything that gets kicked up in that process has got to be a lot. So that's one uh, big drawback to putting a new pier in is it's going to definitely affect the wildlife in the area. Uh, but I still think it's highly worth it because this is such a big, uh, big thing for the community. And again, for us fishermen who come out here to enjoy it, um, I just I really don't know how long it will take, though, for them to not only take the old pier out, put a new one in and then have the... Um, wildlife like re uh inhabit the area i want to say it's probably going to be around a five to six year or ordeal it could be even longer though so that's really tough to, that's a tough pill to swallow but again i mean looking at what we're going to get at at the end result uh I, I think it's really worth it so all right that wraps it up for this video if you like what we got going on over here please drop a like or a subscribe it helps a ton we have some trips going up to florida oregon texas north carolina and of course we'll be hitting the local piers around here all summer long so stay tuned for more and as always be mighty